college players, a lot of them want to play pro or play overseas and good ones have a chance upon graduation to pick an agent to help them represent them. And if they're getting a lot of looks at agents, what would your advice be to, you know, what to look for if you're, if you're looking for an agent? Um, so, so I'll kind of, I'll answer this in two, in two different versions. One is if you are being approached by agents and then the other one is going to be, which is the majority, if you're not being approached by agents. Um, I mean, the same way, it, it's really analogous to trying to play basketball in college, right? If you're being approached or recruited by Division One, Division Two, Division Three, or if you're not being recruited, it's very, it's very similar. Yeah. Um, and so if you are being approached by agents, um, I, I think I go back to what I said before. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's that same college selection process. Very, very similar. You go back to your why. Okay, well, what, what, why do you want to be a pro? What do you want to do? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? Do they all align with your algorithm, right? If you want to, um, you know, be a part of a of a of a an agency, uh, for example, like Octagon that represents the Steph Curry's of the world, and you want to say, hey, I want to be a part of that because I want to be in the same agency as Steph Curry, uh, you know, for the label, that's not right. That's not wrong. That's fine. You have to understand what comes with that. Or if you are the type of person that says, hey, I want to talk to my agent every single day, be best friends with my agent, um, you know, like hear from them after my games, what I did right and what I did wrong, then maybe you go with a, a, a smaller agency because they can give you more time a day. Um, you know, that's not even to mention asking what type of business model that agent has. If you are a projected draft pick, it, it, that's a very different conversation than if you're going to go play overseas and you need somebody to really hustle for you, or, you know, if you potentially have dual citizenship and you want to make sure that you're uh, signing with an agency that has placed players in that certain country before and knows the language. And, you know, th there's, there's a lot of different things you can look for, but I, I think it really comes down to just lining up your, your interests, passions, and vision with not only, you know, th there's three ways where you see yourself, uh, where the agent, an agency sees yourself, but then also there needs to be where reality sees yourself, right? So just for example, if you think that you are a, uh, a, a draft pick and the agent comes and tells you you're a draft pick and you're not on a single draft board, there's something wrong there, right? You guys are setting yourself up for failure, but if all three of those things align, then, you know, that could potentially be a good fit. 